welcome back. Uh, in this video I'm gonna go over the new additions from Get to Work from Build and Buy Mode. And I just realized that my creative video was like an hour and a half, so hopefully this one's not as long uh, not as long as that one. I'll kinda try to push for it. So I'm gonna start with uh, the rooms first. Just the pre-build rooms. Come place. Oh, I see the locked. Give me a moment. I'm just gonna get a cheat that should unlock it for me. Okay. So the first room is General Hospital. Put it here. So it's just a simple hospital room. In case you don't wanna build your own. A little desk and a little um, examining corner. The other room we have is the detective suite. And it looks like this. The third room we have is United Colors Clovers. Clovers? I don't know how to pronounce that word. So just a very simple clothing storeroom of some mannequins. The fourth room we have is the Hubs Fashions. Also another shop room. This time a little bit more modern and oh, more modern and black and white. And then we have another room which is called Mystery Science Laboratory. This is a mad scientist room. I don't know if that gnome is actually in there. Or it's been placed there, but that's pretty cool. Let me see. Oh no, it's in there. Okay. Interesting. So yeah, this is the laboratory room. And the last room we have is called Romeo's eShop. Romero's eShop, sorry. Gadgets and computers and stuff. Uh, so that's the room. Oh no, wait, we have more rooms. I think. Wait. Oh, I must have missed this one. This one is called Baker's Cousin Franchise Concept. Just a very small cute bakery room. Got seven rooms. Yeah. Got seven rooms here. So now it's all the rooms. I'm going to look at we have no new roof patterns here. No new roof sculptures. No new trims, no new freezes, no new spandrels. Okay, we have two new plants. It's quite small. So we have this like alien esque plant here. Can't be recolored. We have another one that's a little bit bigger than that one. We have no new shrubs. Not just two, two trees. So I don't even know if they qualify as trees. They kind of look like shrubs. We don't have any new terrain uh, paints. Nothing new in pools. Let's build a wall. So we have a new wallpaper, 
pattern. Called clinical patterns. That is what it looks like. And it has a number of different colors. Some come with metal. So just one um, wool pattern. We have a new floor called studded base plate. So it's just a simple, what looks like metal. Comes in a bunch of different colors. I'll have you. Then we have some linoleum floor, which looks like your typical hospital um, linoleum in two colors, and some more linoleum. This one comes in tiles. And then we have a mad scientist lab door, I guess, I don't know. Very scary looking door. That's the type of door that you might open it and something might jump at you. Like an alien. We have hospital double doors. And a double door of the fancy variety. Uh, and a new double door, which is quite nice. I like this one. So that's it for the doors. prison window but I don't know I guess it's a weird design in it so it comes in a bunch of different colors then we have a lovely bistro window which I really like and also a couple different colors One tile variety, and then I see. Oh, it's a bit different, but two tiles and three tiles. Is it like a mirrored 
window. Yes, yeah, so I guess it's for your detectors and your police stations. And then we have a very futuristic lab window. Oh, and one that is a one-way mirror window, apparently. So it says... I can see through both ways, so that window lies. Anyway, moving on. We have some wall sculptures here. So we have a planter box, which apparently is wall mounted. Which is a bit weird, but... In a couple of colors, I like that one. And we have some awnings. So this looks like a bistro awning here with the stripes. And we have a fancy rounded awning as well. sculptures. We have... Oh yeah, I missed some doors. So we have a slightly higher door. Oh, that's awesome. It's a beautiful door. So we have this lovely high door, which looks like a boutique door. And we have... Well, it looks like a police station door. And... Some other very official looking door. And that's it for the doors. I do have to say that I absolutely love that one. This door. It's very pretty. And I think I missed some windows as well. Yes, yeah, so we have some larger windows. Pretty much go with the doors I just pulled out. See, so yeah, we have another lovely window that goes on that door, and then these that go with these doors. And that's it for the windows. Then we have a couple new fences. Finally, we have a tiny little thin one. Which, to be fair, should have been included in the base game. But, uh, better late than never. So that's that one. It comes in a ton of different colors. No green though. That's weird. And then we have a fence called the Line Maker. Or a cinema or something. Then we have a fence called on fall fence, which is quite nice, classy looking. And then we have a fence called for your protection. And I think we can all guess what this fence is for. The best fence to use in your bakery. But yeah, and another very large fence for your laboratory or prison or whatever spaceship. Uh, we have is that it? We have some gates as well, so we have a door that goes into this fence here, and we have a door that goes into this fence. Equally scary gate doors for your scary fences. And we have three new columns. So we have this column, which looks kind of similar to something we already have. And then we have a 
concrete looking slab column which I personally really like and lastly we have a very lovely very kind of old town column I also really like that one. And we have a new style of stairs. It's made from wire. So it fits um, like a laboratory or... I mean it, uh, it would probably even look nice in a loft or something to be fair. So it has black and yellow. And some other neutral colors are grey, light grey, dark grey, grey and brown. <laughs> and a ladder railing, a stair railing which doesn't really go these stairs I don't think. I mean it's the same kind of kind of fence like this one. But I feel like it's too fancy for these stairs. Which is weird, but oh well. I guess you can mix and match. You can choose an old railing for these stairs or use the new railing for some of the stairs or something. And I think that's it for Build mode. Yeah, so I'm gonna go into buy mode now, and I'm gonna start with comfort. So we have four new chairs, armchairs. We have a simple seat, which looks like a typical hospital chair, and another one. Kind of limited colors to be fair, I was expecting more variations. We have this lovely um oh. Where's it gone? This lovely metal chair which I quite like. Once again, in a little bit a limiting color scheme, like there's no yellow or green. But oh well. Then we have a new dining chair, which is see through, I think. It has red lines on it, I can't tell. Oh, I get it, it's meant to be a mouse. I mean, it has these like lines which reminds me of mouse buttons. Wait, is it called mouse? No, it doesn't really. I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing things, but it looks like a mouse to me, like the computer mouse. But yeah, it's see through. It's quite modern, which uh, is always welcome in my game. Then we have some desk chairs. Very simple. Don't really care about that one. I don't know, I'm not really feeling... I understand that they probably need to like fit into the hotel, um, hospital and stuff. But I'm just not feeling the color scheme on many of these chairs so far. They're all very grey. And another computer chair. Um, sofa. I suppose. 
Then we have a bench. Which I don't mind to be fair. Looks like it would fit in a gallery or something. And a sofa in the same style as one of the armchairs. I think the first one that we looked at. Yeah, that one. And a sofa that is in the style of this chair as well. Uh, one bed, which I'm guessing is a hospital bed, or maybe a prison bed, I don't really know. It's very very basic, very very basic colours. And we have a stool. It's got a medical stool, but I can see myself using it in like a, a loft build or something. So I do quite like that stool. And a bench, which I actually like because we don't have many seating without a back, except the Ottomans and the one from Mulder Retreat. So like that is welcome in my game. I don't really understand these like these weird things. What's the point now? Oh well. Moving on to surfaces, we have a coffee table. Two coffee tables. One tile and two tile ones. Very simple glass coffee tables, and we have a hallway table which kind of looks like a s safe. Wait, not a coffee table, an accent table. So I guess like a console. Which I guess is like the one for uh, detective and police work. But I can also see it fitting into like a modern loft, industrial loft type of set. And then we have a wooden table. Just very simple. And a laboratory table with some little folder. I do like the sides, like with the holes in the back as well. And a chill box, which I'm guessing is meant to look like a little fridge. But don't be mistaken, it's an end table. <laughs> Shelves. One is called them on the lonely man shelf. And it looks like that. And then the same one, but in slightly larger format. And a shelf with what looks like a bar of soap. Let me raise it. Yeah, it has a bar of soap and a kitchen roll in it. So I'm guessing it's like a prison shelf. But it would look nice in the kitchen maybe. Especially since you can put stuff on it. So you can put like some utensils on it. Moving on to desks, so we have a very, very modern looking 
glass desk, which is quite nice. I like that one. Then a more average kind of desk, which I actually also quite like. desk in the same style as the two coffee tables and we have a very researchy like looking desk I do like this um, holy thing on it holy <laughs> made from holes I kind of wish it didn't have um, like the plugs and the weird box thing. I wonder if you can put stuff on there. Let me grab something quickly. Wait. I don't know, but I'm gonna try it when I get there. Okay. So, yeah, I don't mind it. I wish it was a bit less, I don't know, science-y looking. Because I could see myself using it like in a normal type of build. But not in this state. What kind of colours does it come in? I'm sorry, basic colours. Anyway, we have a counter. Go here, that's a kitchen counter. Not a kitchen counter, but whatever counter you can use in your shop or in your bakery or whatever you choose. But there are no matching overhead cabinets. Then we have a uh, quite a few misc surfaces. So we have what looks like a glass console table, or maybe it's probably a stand. Actually, yeah, I'm being silly. glass of class <laughs> and then we have a metallic industrial looking shelf slash stand probably and another stand I mean I'm just gonna call them stands because they probably are stands and then we have a nice wooden kind of stand and a low one and a tall one and a medium one all in one style these three and then we have a glass one as well a short little stand and a slightly tall stand and then a, what looks like a hospital wheelie stand and a large pedestal and a tiered pedestal and then some kind of laboratory or science or medical looking table or stand or something and then another glass stand table something and a filing cabinet I do like this one I wish there were I don't know I wish there were slightly different textures on some of these like I would love this one to be like a rusted metal or something because in Sims in Sims 4 most stuff is quite pristine looking I mean there's a couple of wooden textures that kind of have little scratches on them like you can see like a little bump there but everything is very nice and new looking basically so yeah I would love for that um, cabinet to be like a bit rusted maybe but anyway so 
have a display case. She kind of looks like a terrarium, which I guess would be nice for like gems and stuff. And another filing cabinet. And another one. And then we have the test tube thing something, <laughs> which we saw in the room. And lastly, I don't really know what the difference is. They seem to be the same, these two. Oh, okay, it's a tiny bit taller than that one, I see. Okay. So, that's it for the surfaces. Oh. Moving on to plumbing. We have... a sink. like a prison uh, toilet and a techy looking shower and that's it for the plumbing and then in activities we have a chemistry lab of course you wouldn't be able to be a mad scientist if you didn't have one and a chemical analyzer. I do like the attention to detail. I'm loving the little cactus here. <laughs> it's quite cute. So yeah, that's the chemical anal analyzer. And then we have four digital ca wait no three digital cameras. Wait, let me see if they go on the desk. Where was it? Oh yeah, they do. Kind of. So there's the first camera, I'm guessing the cheapest. Oh, and the second one. And the third one doesn't go there, so I'll put it here. So yeah, there's three cameras. And what looks like a photo studio. use design to on it, but I'm guessing you can probably change the background in live mode. Because I'm sure I've seen it on the trailer. And we have... I'm not sure what it's... I mean it's a window, more like like a partition but I don't know why it's in activities. Why would it not be in windows or sculptures? But yeah if you're um, planning to make a zoo or a prison or a strip club you would probably need these. And then of course we have all the beautiful mannequins. For some reason I can't use the design tool when I've already put them down. But I can use it in here, which is strange. It's probably not meant to be working this way. Oh again, okay, you only allowed to have 10 mannequins per lot. So because we have some there... Wait, where were they? I'm just gonna delete this quickly. Okay. So there's the human looking ones, and then we have more abstract ones. Chamber, you can also use choose your color. So that's the mannequin. 
prisons and the prison doors. Wait. Okay, moving on to plants. We have this lovely plant, which looks kind of futuristic a little bit. I quite like that one, I like the vase. Then we have a kind of a planter, quite large, and the one we already viewed, the planter box. I'm gonna build a wall for these. Oh look, we already reached the edge of our lot. So much stuff. Okay, so we have a calendar. Sexy policeman and a sexy firefighter, and then we have some decals featuring uh, my sim trophies and some furniture decals. Also for like a furniture shop. And then one for a bakery, which only comes in one color. And a science science map. Science map. Don't really see what's so sciencey uh, mappy about it, but apparently it's a science map. And a lovely bakery. Poster. Magical stone poster. I guess it's for your kind of natural museum builds. And then we have a little gem decal, little cake decal. Oh, this is so cute. I love that they changed the, the style. That's really cute. Um, and we have a dream apparel decal. Okay, I scaled it up a bit. I'm guessing it's like a clothing store decal, but you could probably use it for many things because it's quite abstract, so you can use it like for a gym or something. And then we have shop to die. Shop or die, sorry. Fashion decal. Com only comes in this style. And then we have a geometric one. Also in only one style and a lovely fashion poster. And a group of plum bobs in one style. And another poster called Two halves, one decal, one whole decal. Not really sure what it's meant to be. It looks like a vase, but I, could, I don't know. It could be anything. Then we have a poster called the Atom. You know, three different colors and another poster. I'm running out of space. furniture and a poster called Ultra Confusion Confusion and a poster called I'm 
getting off here. different color combinations so that's nice and that's it for pictures and then we have a wall mirror I'm just gonna put it here so a mirror for the hospitals and stuff and a lovely Oh, I thought it was a floor mirror. Lovely kind of laser cut mirror there. And we have some shades. Just simple office ones, which are quite nice actually. In white, grey and black. sculptures but we have some clutter so we have a box of files and a file folder and some crates And incredible medical instruments, which look rather scary. And then we have it's like a little storage box, and I think another storage box as well, like an office box. And we have two carpets, so we have this carpet made from four round shapes, circles, in a bunch of different colors, and also this great looking um, carpet, which I'm guessing is meant for your laboratories and stuff. new fireplaces. We do have a bunch of new wall decor. Which I'm gonna build another wall for. So oh we have oh it looks like a bookstore sign. Oh there's all sorts, okay. There's a bookstore one, like a vegetable one, I guess it's a menu with a frog, a cafe or bistro one, another cafe one, something that I don't even know, it's kind of, it could be anything really, a gem one, and I'm guessing a furniture one? I'm not really sure. Then we have Doctor's X-ray display, which looks like this. And a police star. And also some police and some beams. Not sure what 
more. Oh, apparently they latch to the wall, I see. That's why they're in here. But I guess it's a nice um, decorative item. And we have a diploma. And a plaque. And like a wanted thing. like the sim grooves in one of the, some of these like I'm pretty sure that's one of the sim grooves and uh, that's um the name's escaping me but I'm sure you can probably tell who the guy who always does Graham? Is it Graham? I don't know. I'm sorry I can't remember. But You'll probably know who I mean. <laughs> anyway, we have a camera. And then... We have a wall-mounted folder holder thing. And a wall sign. Which says the same thing, but it comes in a couple different colors. And hand sanitizer. And a fire extinguisher. The towel dispenser. Oh, that's nice. A warning sign. A wall panel and an exit sign. And an an eye test poster. And another weird plaque. Morning sign, gonna put it here. Then a bunch of other diplomas. Well, that one looks like it has like your first simoleon in it, so that's probably the one that you earn for retail. And Doctor of Medicine diploma. Another sign. And some wood panels, which I'm not really sure what they're for. Unless you can like put photographs in it or something, I'm not really sure. And then we have another plaque. And that's it for wall decorations. Don't think I missed anything. And then we have misc decor. So we have an IV drip. And some kind of closet thing. Cabinet. And a lovely library tray with books which I really like but I wish it didn't have that thing on the sides because I would have loved to use it in like my home build but it obviously looks like it's like a community lot object. Anyway, 
um, some kind of barrel. Something to do with laboratory or medicine. And a magazine rock. And we have a flag, which is very tall. And a lovely room divider in sculptural wave. And we have a skeleton called Skelly Sim. And many bones, which is an anatomical model of a child, for some reason, <laughs> to scare your kids. I don't know why it's highlighting activities for me. God knows. Anyway, let's look at lighting. I am almost completely out of room here. <laughs> um, so we have table lamp. Very simple. And another table lamp. I do like that one quite a lot. And another table lamp. I get it, that one looks like a UFO. The third one. I see. It's cute though. Then we have one floor lamp, which probably wouldn't look very good in your home, but would look good in a hospital. Uh, one outdoor light. Oh, I, I absolutely love this light. That's really nice. It's a very classy with some beautiful plants. I do like this lamp a lot. And some more lights. Ugh, oh, where should I put them? Cats go on this one. So we have a of an industrial looking lamp. Then we have what looks like a prison lamp. And just a very simple... Oh wait, it's... Oh, it's like a detective lamp. I wonder if it starts flashing red and uh, blue, if something's happening. And I have a very nice sconce and some strip lighting and a lovely um, bulb light bulb light set. I wonder if there's a mirror that fits in there. That's like the only mirror that would even go over that. But yes, yeah, so there's that lamp light. And another sconce which looks in the same style as the beautiful um, street lamp with the flowers. And then we have a couple See the lights. So we have. I can't really see very well. Someone called the Beamer. Looks like it probably belongs in a hospital. And just a simple 
modern ceiling light, which I'm very thankful for, because most of the ceiling lamps in base game are kind of rustic. Not many modern ones. Then we have another kind of modern one, which I also like. And what looks like your average. I can't even think of the proper tile now, but the one that like every school has with the long tube lights and then a very nice industrial looking very hefty lamp I do wish it had more colours to it though, like a red or something and then we have some spotlights and a very very nice lamp light I want to say it's modern but I mean I don't know I can see it fitting into like a country build but yeah I do really like this lamp as well to electronics. This expansion has so much stuff my mouth is about to drop off because it just wants me to shut up and stop talking <laughs> but I'll try to finish this. So we have a simple wall mounted TV which is quite small format which I'm also thankful for because all the other wall mounted TVs are quite large and a which I can't put here. Where can I put it? Okay. So yeah, we have this glass computer here. And another computer which is very... very techy looking. And we also have a new clock. Just a nice simple clock, which would probably suit any kind of build, to be fair. And appliances, we have a new fridge, which looks like it would fit perfectly in a lab or a medical facility. So now you don't have to use a normal kitchen fridge. The bin liner and another trash can and a mailbox. So this is apparently the mailbox that I'm assuming the alien whatever town lot has. So it's called out of this world mailbox. Cool. Like an alien cocoon. <laughs> and lastly, storage. We have three new bookshelves. So we have this one. Very simple. And then we have a more lofty library type bookshelf. I do like this one. And another bookshelf, very fancy one. Lovely detail in the wood. And I think that's it for buy mode. And I'm going to quickly do going to quickly look at um, debug stuff just to see what's there. Ok, 
Okay, so I see a lot of stuff. We have surgery table, of course, and momentum conserver. I don't know what it is, but it looks really cool. And then we have a sim ray and a cloning machine and a wormhole generator, of course. I'm not even gonna look at the colors because otherwise we're gonna be here for another hour. And prison doors. Why they're in debug, I'm not sure. And we have an exam, exam bed, examination bed, and some print frames, but I don't know, they'll just be blank, just like pictures, uh, paintings, so yeah, but that should give you an idea of what kind of um, photographs you can have in what kind of format. Then we have some crystal deposits, that is really nice, that's really detailed. I can't increase it in size though, it's not a shame. Um, a crater, smoking, smoking crater? Yeah, smoking crater. And then a geode. And Corbett. I don't know what that is, but I do like this item. Um, and an alien baby bassinet. So yeah, if you plan on having alien babies, that's the one for you. And a hover lamp, whatever that is. Satellite dish. And alien mushroom. Oh, that's nice, the plants. It only comes in one color though. And some more alien grass. If it was, if it came like in the green one, it would be really nice for like a fake aquarium or something. So yeah, there's more alien flora here. Various roots and moss and stuff. Oh, that's nice. Shrimps. And oh, I love these flowers. Some lovely little flowers. They seem to be floating in the air. So you should probably like put them in the grass or something so they don't look so weird. Some a glove, just one. Which disappeared as soon as I placed it, so... I don't know what that's about. Then we have... A marshmallow square. And a card. And a f which also disappeared. A fudge bar. Baking decoration. Decorations, which I'm guessing means... Oh god, sprinkles. That's right. And then a measuring cup which it's kind of sinking into the ground. Frosting thing which is also sinking into the ground. That looks like an egg which is also sinking into the ground. Fabric which disappeared, I don't even know. Eat an apple, which also disappeared. A wallet, which also disappeared. A murder scene um, outline. Oh. Yeah, and then graffiti, apparently. And another one. Oh, it's a Banksy look. <laughs> That's cute. I'm guessing these are like fails. 
of when you need to uh, draw on the victim. And then we have a banana peel. <sighs> I wish it wouldn't disappear. It's very annoying. A match box, which is also gone now. Hair. Why do we have hair? I don't know, there's locks of hair which are also gone. Footprints. Which also disappeared. Some graffiti. Which stayed. Yeah, at least some graffiti stayed, but the footprints disappeared. And we have some more bakery stuff. Lemon bar. Fingerprints, witness report, evidence sample, crime scene photo, a shoe, which is gone now, uh, I'm not really sure what this is, like a nameplate or something, and then some chocolate, Fitzeral, Claire, Donut, Donut Hole, okay, Plain Donut, Bacon Pan, I'm not gonna drag out the pans, uh, Soda, Bacon Pan, that doesn't look like it's working in terms of its texture. Some more food, some tray, more food, a remote for something, patient swap sample, more trays, more food, medication, Plate. It's like a hospital food plate. Uh, some kind of tool, I don't even know. Probe. Air scope. Injector. A thermometer. Tongue depressor. And light. A UFO, which you always wanted on your home lot, of course. And um, what is this? Oops. I'm not sure what this is. Something. to not really say. Something called Cenotaph. I don't really know what this is. Oh, I get it. It's a grave. It's an alien grave. Okay. Uh, alien capsule. That looks like an alien. Okay. So yeah, that's the thing that like goes um, on a piece of furniture inside, and if you put it outside, it turns into a grave, just like for normal sims. An urn and a tomb, okay. So then we have... Well, there's a case file. And a potion. I don't even know what this is. An alien plant polyp. Lab equipment, science equipment, a llama. Wait, what's it doing? A llama that's doing something. It's 
climbing a wall? I can't really tell what it's meant to be doing. It's doing something. And then a piranha. It is also vertical. Um, what is this? A very short plunger. An organ. <laughs> awesome. As a heart. If any of you wanted one, <laughs> put it here. <laughs> uh, a baby. Yeah, this is a baby. I'm guessing it's the one you deliver with the, the examination table or whatever it's called. Um, a pipette. More food. DNA sample. More food. Tentacle tree. Is that what it's called? Tentacle tree. That's right, yeah. Oh, okay, I get it. That's one that you grow. So yeah, that's why you turn into a little pile. A fun flower. That looks awesome though. Let's go little teeth. Oh. <laughs> looks very terrifying. But yeah, I'm guessing that's the one that you plant. We have medicine. And out of stock sign. Glow orb. Which I'm guessing is another plantable. Quill fruit, which I'm also guessing is a plantable. More out of stock signs. I can't see this one. And another alien bassinet? I don't know why. We have a baking book. Some cute graphics on it. So there's three new baking books. And I've seen all this stuff. And I think that's it then. So yeah. Don't think I'm missing anything. As you can see, there's an absolute truckload of new stuff in this expansion, on top of all the new creative sim items. So yeah, um, I mean I haven't even played the expansion yet, I literally just did a video about going uh, for the creative sim components and this, so I'm really looking forward to thinking what kind of business I want to run and stuff. But yeah, um, I'd say it's... I'm quite happy with the content. So I had to go back because apparently I missed a huge chunk of content. Because as I was formatting the video, I realized, wait, where's like all the bakery stands and stuff? So yeah, I think they're hidden from the normal uh, build by mode on the residential lot which this one was so I had to go and change it to retail as you can see here and then on the bottom I received um, a new category called the retail items and it contains a whole lot of stuff which I'm gonna quickly go through after I use the mood sheet so yeah we have one moment. Oh, what's the register? So we have a register which you can't put on there. What can I put it on then? Retail counter. I'll put the register here. Okay, yeah, so there's the retail counter. And the register. So it looks like. And then we have a sales sign, a 
bunch of different colors and another one which goes on surfaces and another one which I'm guessing goes on a wall Is it gone? I don't know. <laughs> I'll find it eventually. Okay, so we have a clothing sign and a menu a sign which comes in a couple. Less fancy as the one we had before. And we have another sign for some drinks, what it looks like, I think. I don't know. And another letter sign. Comes in a couple different colors. And we have a Looks like a bakery stand 
Maybe a produce stand, like a produce cooler. A little cafe sign, which you sadly can't scale up. comes in one color, then we have an open neon sign, another bakery stand, another sign called Tralala, and a blazing hot sign, and then another sign and a cupcake neon sign, which is really cute, and I'm assuming it moves. As you can see, there's some secondary arms and legs there. And... I can't... I'm guessing it's bread, so it's another bakery sign. And another retail counter. A money sign. Another retail counter, all fitting in with the existing counter styles. And is that no? Okay, has another one. And I think that is it. You know, there's some objects that I lost. Oh, I'm guessing it's um, a drinks machine. So you have this very futuristic looking drinks machine. And... I think we've seen everything else here. So yeah, these are the items that I almost forgot to show. 